So, in my previous session, I have talked about the optimism and there is some part of the literature of the opt optimism and now we will talk about the types and the classification of the optimism, then the theory, different theories of optimism, outcome and results, strategies to become more optimistic. So, whenever we are talking about the types of the optimism, the, there will be the personal optimism. The personal as, as optimism will be the personal expectations that the outcomes will be positive independently of whatever cause the situation is there and there uh, the, as I have talked in earlier also that is the we have to lead towards the personal uh, op uh, optimism and therefore, we have to believe uh, we have to faith in ourselves we have to believe and therefore, as a result of which you will find we are able to develop uh, that uh, sense of optimism. Self efficacy optimism positive expectations that one is competent to solve problems. Uh, for example, Bandura's definition of the self efficacy is an individual's perception of his or her own ability to perform specific tasks and solve specific problems. Now, here we have to connect between the personal optimism and the self efficacy optimism. In the self efficacy optimism, that is fine, that is the one is competent to solve the problems. Now, here uh, uh, you, you see that is the one is there is you are just exp expecting that is the everything will be good. And here, when we are talking about the self efficacy of optimism, because we, we have seen there that whenever there was the hope and then there was in the case of the hope we will we have talked about that is the hope and then that hope is related to the self efficacy and this self efficacy and hope then they are connected with the psycho in the psychological capital i am talking about optimism and then there is a resilience. So, therefore, in that case you will find that is the it becomes very important that it, when we are talking about to be competent and in the competent the role of self efficacy is very important is there. And that is why I always give an emphasize that is the concept and belief and faith I can. If you are having that country uh, uh, confidence, that belief, I can, why I cannot, <laughs> but that will be negative rather than we should talk about that is the how I can and if I can do that, then yes, I will be able to solve the problems. And here, this Bandura's con lot of contribution is there, academic contribution is there and Bandura's definition of the self-efficacy as an individual's perception of his her own ability which I was talking about to perform specific task I can and solve specific problems I can again. So, therefore, in that case the self efficacy optimism will be one's belief on his own ability to perform and get the results. So, therefore, it becomes very very important that is the we, we talk about uh, 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 on these aspects that is the whenever we are having the personal optimism or the self efficacy optimism uh, then in that case in both the cases right. But in the first case you will have that is the uh, and it is just an expectation that is the outcome will be positive. But in the second case it is a positive expectation is that I am competent that is why everything will be positive is there. So, in the positive future expectations, uh, now we will see the it, uh, academically the difference between self efficacy optimism, how it differs from the personal optimism, uh, uh, because it includes the positive future expectations based on the belief that a person can execute the behaviors required to achieve the desired outcome. And therefore, in that case, uh, it, it is becoming very, very important that there is, there, there is a belief uh, that a person can execute the behaviors, right. And if the behaviors required behavior is there, person can execute, then definitely the, there will be the desired outcome. The focus is on the personal attainment of goal and that is the Bryant and the uh, Vendros, uh, Vendros uh, 2004, they, have, they in this paper they have talked about that is their focus is on personal attainment of goal. 
So, uh, how much uh, you are uh, positive, how much uh, uh, you are very much uh, uh, inclined to, uh, towards the personal attainment of goal. If you are inclined to go for the personal attainment of goal, then definitely in that case you will be more and more uh, successful and you will get that particular positive outcome. The related terms are the op optimism versus the hope is there. So, therefore, uh, we have talked about the hope is the combination of desire and expectation. In other words, it is a belief that we can make things better. We have talked in the psychological capital also. And the optimism is the confidence about the future or successful outcome of something. It requires a belief that in progress, in other words, it is a belief that things are going to be better. So, therefore, in the case of the hope, that is a person is making an attempt, an effort is made and then thinking about the things will be better, while it is a belief that things are going to be the better. So, it is just a belief things will be better and hope is based on the your efforts, based on your action and then uh, I, I, I have tried let us hope so. Right. I believe everything will be all right. So, therefore, that is a belief. Here, I have tried, let us hope so. So, therefore, in that case, uh, there are the efforts are made there. Uh, the uh, prerequisite for the hope is the efforts, action is there, and therefore, it is not only the ex desire and expectation, it is also in, in, in addition, there is something uh, basis for that, and therefore, in that case, we will talk about the hope. Now, uh, more or less the many times uh, we, we are uh, 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 confusing between the uh, optimism and the realism, because the optimism is, uh, uh, is the uh, reality which may occur in future, while the realism is that is the it will be it will be the part of the whatever it is going to be the person is having the belief and think about it. So, uh, uh, the, uh, the technically we will see uh, how it is different. So, when we are talking about the uh, realism, so in the case of the realism it might be hard I would better plan right. So, you are realistic, I am going to appear in an examination and then in that examination uh, the paper may be the tough paper, so it might be hard. So, I would better plan. So, you are making the realistic ex uh, approach what is going to be expected to happen. So, if uh, examination result is there, so in the examination result that is the result of the paper might be hard, I would do better plan to study. So, that uh, because of that um, uh, uh, the uh, uh, hard or uh, chances of failure I can uh, minimize right and therefore, in that case uh, what is required in case of the re realistic per realism the person will be having the better planning. So, therefore, please uh, uh, we have to be very careful right whether uh, we are only optimistic or we are also uh, having the sense of realism in our optimism. It will be easy, I would not think about it. <laughs> so, therefore, be careful in the examination specially that is the we, we have to be care, uh, more concerned about that is the it might be possible that it, it will be a tough and then I should better plan for it. I want to make changes or get out. So, therefore, it becomes very, very important that is the uh, uh, if uh, I find that is a something is going to be the wrong, then I, I should I should make the changes or I should be able to get out of that particular uh, problem or trouble, uh, because uh, in the realism uh, if uh, I, I, I do not uh, uh, understand that uh, that is the there might be the, uh, the it will be hard. So, then I have to make the changes and I have to get out from that particular issue someone will rescue me. So, therefore, in that case it, it is possible that is the how one is able to do with uh, that particular um, situation. So, if I believe that someone will rescue me, so anybody will come and help me. So, then in that case it is the excessive optimism. Please understand that is the in optimism 
excessive optimism and realism. So, we have to be the optimistic with the but with the uh, realism, but we cannot be we cannot be have the excessive optimism. Excessive optimism is baseless many times and therefore, in that case that is the this expectation someone will rescue me and then the situation will be good everything will uh, happen in a right way no nothing. What is required preparation is required. So, therefore, when I talked about the self efficacy optimism and therefore, I believe that I am competent, I am competent on the basis of my knowledge, skills, ability, attitude right. So, therefore, in that case uh, I should not be uh, with this, I should not be ready for the future with this belief that is somebody will come and help me, no not necessary and therefore, that is excessive optimism and we have to minimize the excessive optimism. I should ask what he feels about me, what he wants and therefore, one should be realistic that is the it is not like this that I am sure he just wants what is best for me, I will trust him it is a blind, it is truly blind. So, therefore, in that case what is required is I should ask what he feels about me and what he wants and therefore, I will I should be very clear that is the if this this is going to be the happen then 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 uh, what, what is the uh, re realism and then if this is a realism then which type of optimism I can apply personal optimism or the self efficacy optimism and what should I avoid I should avoid the excessive optimism. Now, we will like to take a certain theories of optimism the theory explanatory style that is refers to a psychological attribute and indicates the way an individual explains the events or experiences that is in a positive or a negative manner right. So, therefore, in that case the theory of explanatory indicates whether the how the person explains whether he explains in a positive way or a negative manner. The theory explains the three components namely personal, permanent and pervasive. So, therefore, first we will take the personal component. The personal component attributes the event to internal or external locus. So, therefore, in that case you will find that is whenever we are talking about uh, that uh, a person is having the uh, 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 internal locus of control or having the external locus of control and therefore, in that case the persons the personal component attributes will be depending. While when we talk about the permanent component, permanent component refers to the causes that are stable or unstable across the time and therefore, it is very uh, there is very difficult to change because they are very much constant. Further pervasive component covers the global or local nature of the causes that leads to a particular event. This will be important because whenever we are talking about the pervasive component then we have to understand whether there is a global or the local nature is there. If there is a global and local nature of the causes is there then that then definitely that will lead to a particular event and that event we have to be very very careful. In, uh, in the event if we are careful then def definitely we will making the personal component attributes. Second theory is theory of dispositional optimism. According to the theory of dispositional optimism being optimistic means having favorable generalized expectations and continuing goal pursuit for the future and therefore, uh, it, it, it is a continuous process. An optimist tends to expect favorable outcomes which would result in more positive feelings and affections. Uh, it refers to the global expectations that good things will be in abundance in the future. Now, in the theory of dispositional optimism, they, there is always a favorable generalized expectation is there that is this is to be done and the continuing goal pursuit will be there for the future. An optimistic tends to expect favorable outcomes which would result in more positive feelings and affections are there and therefore, in that case it, it becomes very very important that is the one is able to do the positive feelings and the affections. The, it refers to the global expectations that good things will be in evidence in the future and therefore, always we are thinking that everything will be uh, evidence will be there of the good in the life. 
So, it becomes the optimistic bias is it good or bad exercise 1 based on abilities and characteristics where one stands relative to other first is uh, this exercise for you also and then I will mention that is how much percentage you fall in this particular exercise. Now, getting well along with others right here you can rank yourself on a scale of 1 to 7 on the Likert scale you, you find out uh, first that is how you are getting well along with others. What does it mean when suppose there is, uh, there is a game in the class and are, uh, are do you take initiative to participate in the uh, in that particular game or there is a social gathering and somebody invites you to dance that is ok come and dance and then are you ready for the dance or you are not ready time for the dance not always but most of the time. So, uh, the one will be that is a never right and seven will be that is the always, but if, if it is uh, uh, that is, uh, you can make into the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and therefore, you can talk about that is the uh, 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 seldom and then sometimes uh, uh, few times and then, uh, then you can uh, the most of the times sometime um, most of the times right and uh, then the uh, you are going uh, for the uh, uh, here you can go uh, for for the uh, uh, up to the uh, 80 uh, it is the always right uh, you can talk about that is uh, uh, always I go for this and there you, you find that is the mo uh, uh, you uh, you are going for the most uh, always uh, you can go uh, never seldom sometime for few times then most of the times and then always you can go and therefore, you can find out that is the how getting well along with others you are going. If you are going getting well along with others right and therefore, that will then I will show you your interpretation of the results. How well is your driving ability? It is you can uh, again you can rate uh, on the scale of the 1 to 7 and then you can find out uh, that is uh, from uh, there is a worst right sometime good sometime a few times it is uh, good right and then that is the best and therefore, you can rank yourself that is uh, how do you think how interesting you think you are. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I uh, in that case uh, definitely you have to take the feedback from uh, your friend you have to recall uh, because here it will not possible in this scale. So, therefore, you have to recall that is the uh, whether you are able to uh, get yourself uh, uh, comments from your uh, your friends, your relatives, uh, your uh, teachers. Uh, and um, your parents right the society other members of the society also you can take the comments and find out that is the are you interesting a personality or you are not an interesting personality do you people take interest do they smile when they see you right or the, they make the excuses right and then how attractive you think you are ok. So, with the unknown persons basically it will be more that is the if you find that uh, uh, you uh, the people want to talk to you suppose you are traveling and during the travel uh, uh, that is the uh, surrounding people are there and uh, then uh, are uh, they are interested to talk to you or not are you attractive that is they will like to talk and if they talk then that is fine. How honest you think you are and then in that case if you find that is a yes I am the honest most of the time. So, then uh, that scale can be applicable legal scale can be applicable and how modest you think you are in your behavior and therefore, if even if you want to say the no how do you say no and therefore, that becomes a very very important aspect. Now, here you see that is the, uh, the how you, uh, you are uh, is it good or bad and therefore, in that case if your answer is for most of the uh, places if it is towards the higher side and it is yes then definitely you are having the 70 point. So, most of us tend to put ourselves above, above average on most of the abilities which is statistically impossible right. So, therefore, uh, there is a tendency actually 
the reason being that we can all the better than anyone else right. So, th therefore, uh, we cannot be the uh, al always always better than uh, everyone else right, but sometimes we are better sometimes you are not uh, better, but if we believe that we are better than the other guy we are most likely to get promotion remain married as we are social and, and interesting and therefore, in that case in your personal life right. So, you will have a happy marriage life, you will have the promotions, you will have the social and interesting life because you are you, you are very much optimistic and therefore, in that case you think that everything will be good, everything will be very fine nice and uh, it will go and a uh, happy life will be there <laughs> and therefore, in that case you <laughs> likely no, because you, you are trying that is I am better than others. So, I am better than others, so you compete with you, you, you are uh, uh, same age people and then you say yeah I am leading better than others. Uh, I am different from others right and therefore, in that case yeah it, it will be better personal life will be there and then then, then uh, because of that belief and optimism the person is having that, that that person will go for the social and interesting. This phenomenon of optimism bias exists in western and non western nations across genders age etcetera, but the question is is it good or bad. The whether that feeling that is the I am better, I am above average, I am the uh, uh, as compared to others uh, I am the best right. So, therefore, in that case this type of the feeling is good or bad and therefore, we will talk about now the question is where does optimism come from, why people they believe I am better than you and is it something we are born with or is it learned from the environment. For some lucky individuals being optimistic comes naturally that is the hereditary proceedings of the National Academy of Science 2011 talks about it is rooted in the hormone oxytocin and it is the hereditary uh, secretion and little chunk of the genetic material on the oxytocin receptor gene may influence these personality traits. And therefore, in that case uh, the optimism and that is coming along with the personality traits for this uh, chunk of the generic material. The good news is that for those who do not have in naturally optimism is an attitude. An attitude can be learned, practice and developed dear friends. So, do not worry if in your oxytocin level is low right with the period of time you can learn and practice the oxytocin. So, now very interesting um, slide is here strategies to become more optimistic how to be Bruna and Martinez 2009 avoid negative environments. You see many times the people they keep on criticizing you, you cannot why you are shy why you do not speak, uh, why do not participate, you, you seem to be sad, uh, uh, do, uh, are you not feeling well right. So, these are the people those who talk about this negative uh, the thing uh, please avoid them right. So, therefore, in that case avoid the uh, negative environment because nobody is perfect. So, naturally there will be certain weaknesses, but the person is always trying to find out the weaknesses in you. Then what is the sense to be living, living with that particular person? It is better to say the goodbye. So, therefore, in that case, it is the avoid the negative environments whenever it is there. Celebrate your strengths. As I said, nobody is perfect, but the everyone is having certain strengths, and that strengths are very strong. Nobody, even like doing the painting, any art. One will be such a strong person, others cannot even be stand by near to him. Right. So, therefore, uh, it, it is becoming very important that is whatever strengths you have enjoy that, have a celebrations right and smile. So, therefore, in that case the celebrate your strengths, take care of your spiritual emotional well being, spiritual well being is that is a devotion commitment, I will be talking about the spirituality also 
right? And therefore, I keep on conducting the sessions on the spirituality and happiness. And therefore, you will find that is a spiritual well-being, servant leadership which I discuss is also a part to serve others. It is a spirituality, dear friends. And therefore, in that case, uh, it is always try to be spiritually well-being and commitment to others, commitment to the organization, commitment to the society, commitment to the family commitment to yourself right and therefore have a, a spiritual well-being and simultaneously emotional well-being you know, may know yourself know your strengths control yourself regulate yourself have the high motivation give the maximum time uh, wherever possible to serve others right so therefore in that case you will be emotional well being because you are a part of the society you are linked to the society you are serving to the society so it, it is not alone you you are with the society society is from you and therefore in that case dear friends you will find that is the yes please no negative thoughts please don't criticize people Pe people do not help People do not uh, 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 consider uh, your strengths. Uh, people are uh, uh, n n never, never they will come and help you. Uh, it, it is not like this, right? People help. If you have served the society, society will serve you, dear friends. And therefore, in that case, you will find that is you take care of your spiritual and emotional well being. Manage or ignore what you cannot change. Now you see in the change management, in the change management, uh, uh, if you see the steps in the change management, in the change management step is first is the unfreezing, then change and then refreezing. Now here unfreezing means that is the there is a need for change for the self or for these others. So please try to understand that there is a need for self and then second is that is the change, change is there and in that case, in that case change you, you have to understand that is the uh, whatever change you want to bring change may be in main, machine, material, money, methods, right minutes. So, that the change you bring, but do not stop there management change management refreezing is also very very important. When you are managing the change the this uh, refreezing these steps this is Levin's model basically. So, therefore, in that case there is a refreezing also and in case of the refreezing you are managing your change. So, therefore, if you want to change and you can make the change then go for these steps in for, for the change management. But in the case when you are not able to manage the change ignore what you cannot change. Do not be sad about it, do not be uh, upset. Uh, do not uh, 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 be uh, uh, nervous uh, by understanding oh I have this weakness and I cannot change. No, share yeah because I know this thing I cannot change you cannot change another thing. So, therefore, in that case we will not be able to change right ourselves right. So, th yes that is our limit we are human beings. So, we are having certain limitations and in limitations certain things I can change, certain things I cannot change because of my individual personality. So, please try to cope up, cope up with me with that particular change and therefore, in that case you will find that is always whenever we are talking about uh, this particular uh, uh, change management we have to be uh, very clear that is the we are able to manage the change. Then we, we talk about the learn to reframe looking for the hidden positives in a negative situations right. So, therefore, it is uh, always there is a blessing in disguise. 
please try to understand you will having certain positivity there and therefore, it is possible that you will go with this particular uh, emotions that yes I can, I can do these things and for the if something is uh, 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 something is going wrong then I will make the reframe of that particular wrong. I will go for that particular uh, uh, structure, uh, I will go for uh, uh, that particular picture and I will uh, uh, repaint it. And therefore, if I am a good artist, I can paint my life myself, right? And therefore, in that case, that will be becoming the more optimistic. So, there my the, the final slide, it is a question to you. After understanding and analyzing optimism, do you really think that an individual can be optimistic in every condition, dear friend? Right? And I am sure that your answer will be that is yes, we will be uh, able to be optimistic in, in uh, every condition. So, because optimism with the help of this particular slide, you will find that is this is the um, model, this is the mechanism which I want to suggest to you that is the please have a positive environment, please increase your psychological capital that is your hope, your efficacy, your optimism and your resilience that model which I had talked that psychological capital. So, increase your psychological capital, avoid the negative uh, comments uh, giving people, uh, avoid those who talk about your weaknesses, uh, avoid them and the always enjoy, celebrate, celebrate your strength, so, be happy, ha keep smiling right and then have a hope and always take care of that is the you serve the society, you take care of the society, you are, a, you are able to manage your emotions in well being and therefore, you regulate, you know strengths, you are motiv highly motivated, you have empathy for others and the, you are having the socialization process. You see when you are having the socialization process, many problems on many problems you just laugh. Oh, I did that thing wrong, right? Oh, sorry, um, but I could not because the people surrounding to you, they will also laugh with you. Oh, you are stupid. How you have done this thing wrong, right? But they will not criticize you because they are with you. They are your friends. They are your parents. They are your relatives. They are your class fellows. They are your uh, colleagues, right? So therefore, definitely always have the emotional well-being. Manage and ignore what you cannot change uh, to the change management model which I have talked about, and always learn to reframe. This is dear friend. Uh, it is a wonderful concept. That is the always looking for the hidden positives in a negative situation. हर बुराई में कुछ न कुछ भलाई है, right? So I am sure that after understanding and analyzing the optimism which I have talked to you, you will really think that an individual can be optimistic in every condition क्योंकि कुछ भी बुराई है पर उसमें भलाई छिपी हुई है. So always keep smiling and optimistic. Thank you.